with the wise to be wise. Have friends who inspire you to be better than you are. Proverbs 13 verse 20. He who walks with wise men shall be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. Proverbs 27 verse 17. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Proverbs 22, verses 24 and 25. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man do not go, lest you learn his ways and set a snare for your soul. This week we're talking about friendships and what the scriptures have to teach us concerning relationships, human relationships, human interactions and friendships that we all have and maintain and uh, uh, engage in. And the important insight for today is, is from the book of Proverbs where the Bible says that if we walk with wise men, we will also be wise. That means we understand that the people that we walk with are either going to lift us up or they're going to tear us down. He who keeps company with fools, the Bible says, yeah, he's going to be destroyed because they're going to pull him down. But if you're going to walk with wise men, they're going to lift you up. They're going to help you become wiser. Or as Proverbs 27, 17 says, iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens his friend. People sharpen you. They can make you better. They can bring out the best in you. They can propel you to greater heights. They can inspire you inspire you to reach out for more. They can challenge you to rise up and uh, go to levels that you thought you would never go. Uh, they can uh, sometimes even compel you to get out of your comfort zone, to get out of what you are satisfied with, what you are accustomed to, and to step out and do things beyond yourself and thereby acquire new skills or gain new strengths in your life. And those are the kinds of people we need around us. Those are the kinds of people that we need to surround ourselves with. Those are the kinds of people that we need to give access to influence us. When you, you and I have friendships, we are actually giving another person the right of entry into our lives. That's what friendships are. It's a two-way communication. It's a channel from which you are able to impart into their lives and they are able to impart into your life. We're actually giving that person permission to influence you. And so you need to choose friends wisely and you walk with the wise so they can lift you up. Another aspect of application for this, of this in our lives is to find people who are doing the things that we want to be doing so that they can help us do that. Uh, in, in professional terms, we would call them mentors or coaches, people who have gone the way before us people who have more experience and knowledge in a certain area, and we begin to associate with them. We begin to give them the right to influence our lives. And what happens? They begin to lift us up to the realms that they have already gone into, or they know how to get there, and they're able to bring us up to higher levels. So we are actually giving them friendship. Uh, giving them, uh, that friendship is giving them access to influence our lives. On the contrary, the Bible says, don't walk with an angry man because you will learn his ways and you'll destroy your own life. Don't be a companion to fools lest you be destroyed. Meaning, if you give the wrong kind of people access into your life, they'll only end up ruining your life. They'll end up pulling you down. So, remember this. If you want to be wise, walk with the wise. Choose whom you associate with so they can lift you up and then they can make you a better you. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us find meaningful friendships, relationships, people who will lift us up, who can impart into our lives, speak wisdom, speak understanding to us, and help us to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.